And the Oscar goes to... I don't know, smacking my face or moving my face or... And he's got me by the hair and he's... Um, it's hard to describe, it's... The day that we lost but, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But to be clear, you're not taking any arrows out of your quiver, you're not ruling anything out. Good morning. Product is fine. Read the copy, please. The copy's good, just read it. Good morning. Sunday morning. <laughs> Yeah. Looks like my new co-anchor may need a glass of water. <laughs> we have a responsibility. We take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. Good morning. Sunday morning. The, uh, the, the, we have a responsibility. We take it. Good morning. Sunday morning. Shut up, Shut up and, sit, and down. sit down. Hey, 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 that's a joke. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I appreciate the view. And I would appreciate you just a little bit more if you went ahead and hit that like button. It takes like literally no effort, like a half a second. Just fucking do it. Um, anyway, before we begin today, I just wanted to like remind everybody how social media has been integrated into our daily lives, into the fabric of our, of our society. Did you know that there are more than four and a half billion people that actively use social media? That's more than half the people on planet Earth. And half the people on planet Earth are spending more time on social media than eating, drinking, sleeping, or exercising. It's becoming a fundamental part of our daily lives and our very existence, which is detrimental and harmful and irreversible to our future and to society. That said, thanks for clicking on this video. Anyways, welcome to Darth News, special edition, Everybody Hates Amber. Oh, but wait, what's this? You know, before we start talking about this barn witch, I just wanted to mention that it's kind of funny how the human body has over 7 trillion nerves, and somehow this fucking cunt Amber Heard manages to get on literally every single one of them. <sighs> I need my Xanax. Hey, Tina, did you know that coffee spelled backwards is EFOC? And I honestly don't give EFOC until I've had my goddamn coffee. So go get me my fucking cup of coffee right now. I'm not joking, Tina. If you don't get me my coffee, I'm going to lose it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Tina. Yeah, no problem, darling. I love you. You're my favorite. You're my best friend. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. All right. Well, it looks like one of Amber Turd's old piece of shit movies that bombed at the box office and got a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes has had some kind of a revival on streaming services, and um, I don't know why people are supporting her. So let's go ahead and I guess just jump into the article and see what's what's going on. Yeah. Let, let's let's uh, let's let's see what's going on. You ever been with a man? No. I can't say I have, Darth. You want to? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I've never, never tried it before. I know. I'm saying, do you want to try it? Well, I'm, I might need some drugs. Yeah, I got drugs. I got plenty of drugs. Yeah, what, what kind of drugs you got? Uh, I got, like, cocaine. Oh, no, no, that'll make your dick shrivel up. No, no, no cocaine. Okay, what do you, what? How about some heroin? Yeah, I can get some heroin. All right, so for today's article, we're over here at We Got This Covered. The title reads, Amber Heard movie that ended in four lawsuits and a 0% Rotten Tomato score finally succeeds on streaming. Guys, what the fuck is this? Why are we supporting this? The fu fucking boycott Netflix. What are you... Oh my god, why are you watching this garbage? I know half of you who hate Amber Heard probably watch this, so fuck you. Anyway, they say, as you may have noticed, and as we're all obviously acutely aware, Amber Heard is a rather polarizing figure among the general public thanks to her long-running and bitter legal battles opposite her ex-husband Johnny Depp. In front of the camera, the actress has been maintaining a relatively low profile, with the forgotten drama Gully and CBS's Stephen King adaption The Stand are the only projects she shot on either side of the comic book blockbuster Aquaman and the upcoming sequel The Lost Kingdom. 
Kingdom. However, the curious case of London Fields is definitely something worth mentioning. So now, strangely enough, shooting on the mystery thriller originally wrapped back in 2013, but the movie wouldn't arrive until October 2018, nearly five years later, where it infamously and promptly sank without a trace after earning less than $500,000 at the box office, also while suffering the enigmy of netting a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Damn, less than a half a million dollar the box office, and you got all these stars before any of this controversy. Actually, it was after the controversy, because they released it five years later. Why they released it five years after they wrapped shooting is uh, a mystery, but let's keep reading and see if there's anything else. They say, in between those two points, director Matthew Cullen sued the producers for fraud after they allegedly refused to pay him and denied him his final cut. He was then countersued for going $2 million over the agreed budget and beyond the intended shooting schedule, on top of violating his contract by helming a music video for Katy Perry when he was supposed to be in post-production. Okay, well, that's, that's kind of shitty. That's not professional behavior at all. I see what's happening here. It's just the tit-for-tat. That just took for, I mean, <clears throat> I want to keep reading. Amber Heard was also sued to the tune of $10 million for breaching the terms of her deal, before she too also launched a claim of her own, alleging a nudity clause had been violated. I don't, I don't know what that means. A nudity clause? Did, did they shoot a nudity scene and she said no? Or, I, I don't know. I don't know what that means. I'll look into that later. Um, so, although the matter was ultimately settled out of court, so I guess they just... I don't know how this was handled. Either they paid her or one, or maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what, how that ended. And we'll probably never know because it was handled out of court. Uh, they say it's obviously an awful film by all accounts, but as per Flix Patrol, London Fields has appeared on the iTunes Global Most Watch List? What? Which is surely out of morbid curiosity more than anything else. Yeah, I'd say so. It's probably out of morbid curiosity, but why Why is this at the top of the iTunes most watch list? Oh my god, fuck. Stop supporting this cunt. Stop watching Amber Heard films. This is a... a oh my god, I say it every video. She's a narcissistic sociopath who doesn't care about anybody that lies to get to the top. That doesn't, that doesn't mind destroying somebody's life, destroying, I mean, everything about their lives. Amber Heard is pure evil. There is nothing good or redeeming or kind or, or just, you know, benevolent about her. She's playing everybody. And if you don't see that, if you're somebody who supports her or aren't up to date with Amber Heard and how she's such a fucking bitch, then, you know, watch my old videos. Or just, you know, Google it. Because uh, we, we, we can't keep supporting her. We just, we just can't. I'm not saying I am, but we as a culture, as a society, we, we, can't, we can't be fucking, we can't be watching her movies. We have to cut her off. This is so fucked, man. She, her, her movie, London, whatever, London Fields, was, was dead in the water. It, it was a distant fading memory in Hollywood cinema history. Just phew, gone, forgotten about, and that's where it should have stayed. But for some reason, like Jumanji, they had to dig up this chest and open it up again. And honestly, I don't care if you watch her movies out of morbid curiosity or if you um, just want to like make fun of her Does it, or whatever. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter if you're watching it to hate watch it. Just don't watch it, period. Like, especially don't pay for it. This fucking, what is this? It's on iTunes most watched? That's crazy. That is crazy. Let's, let's not watch her movies anymore. Please, please. That includes Aquaman 2. For all of you people who might want to go see it for Jason, no. Boycott that shit. Get it, get it off, offline, off some kind of torrent. I didn't, I didn't say that out loud, but you should illegally download it. I didn't say that. I'm just joking. But you should download it illegally. Did I say legally or illegally? I don't remember. Anyways, I think that's going to wrap up all I have to say on this topic because I really don't want to talk about this dumb barn witch much more than I need to. And I think I got the point across. Stop supporting her. Stop supporting her movies. Stop watching her movies. Just, you, you, you need to pretend she doesn't exist, especially if you support the Justice for Johnny movement. If, if you're aware of what's going on with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, you should definitely not be supporting Amber Heard. That includes watching her movies. I mean, really, that's the only way you can support her. So don't do it. 
Other than that, you know, uh, well, I guess, I guess uh, don't forget to pull out. That is P-O-O fucking L. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell. And please, if you feel it in your heart and you can afford it, this channel, as you may or may not know, is completely demonetized. And, um, and, and donate as little as $1 a month or just a one-time donation of $1. Please visit my Cash App, my Patreon, or you can go to my merch store and um, go buy some merch. A lot of this stuff is on sale, mostly 50%. So, yeah, help support the channel. That's, uh, that's about it. And other than that, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you taking just a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me, even though we should all be spending less time on social media. I'm glad you're spending it with me. Um, and until we meet again, stay Darth. I think all this mumbo jumbo is beside the point. The point seems to be... Very nice. Do you have a stylist or you just found it on the rack? Well, it was laying around in my house. <laughs> this whole thing. Have you ever had a guys fight over you? People think I'm... Insert every adjective imaginable <laughs> mostly negative <laughs> mostly negative <laughs> insert epic anything